Well, high temperatures in Connecticut today were in the 60s, 70s and 80s, depending on where you live. Now, if you were at Avery Point in Groton today, it was chilly. The high temperature in Groton was only 63, but you make your way up to Hartford. It was 80. The same in Willimantic. Windsor Locks, 83. And then you get into uh, the northwestern part of the state and also Danbury. You're talking about uh, temperatures that reach the low and middle 80s today, further away from the influence of Long Island Sound. There's no rain to worry about on this Friday evening. We are in great shape if you have outdoor plans. Windsor Locks, one of the warm spots at 83 with a nice southerly breeze. That's going to cool us off. It's a sea breeze for the second day in a row. There's our ICAM in Waterbury where it's currently 79 degrees and New Haven is 73 degrees with that wind off the water. But beautiful in New Haven and beautiful across the entire state. We're still in the 60s, 70s and 80s right now. 62 in Groton, ranging up to 84 in uh, Salisbury at the current time, which is normally one of the cooler spots in the state, but not today. So you got that southerly wind across the state at 5 to 15 miles an hour. High pressure is in place, but with the cool water and the heating of the land, that's when that cool ocean air comes rushing on in, what we call a sea breeze. So we got that southerly wind at 5 to 15. Now look off to our north and west again. Uh, 88 degrees in Burlington, 92 degrees in Syracuse. So that warm, hot air is poised just to our west, and that's going to be arriving here as we go into uh, the weekend. So the chance for our first 90 degree day since last August is uh, pretty high this weekend. So the satellite radar combined shows that we're mainly clear right now. We don't have to worry about any showers or thunderstorms this evening with high pressure and control of things. As we go through tonight, the sky will become partly to perhaps mostly cloudy. And then tomorrow, a partly sunny day. Now there is a risk for a shower or thunderstorm in the afternoon. But they're going to be few and far between, so I would not change your outdoor plans. Things will settle down as we go through tomorrow night and Sunday morning is going to start out dry. Then as we go into a Sunday afternoon and evening, we have a chance for more scattered showers and thunderstorms. That's pretty much late in the day. I think the best chance for storms will be to the east of Connecticut, but we can't rule out a couple of storms here in Connecticut. And in fact, the Storm Prediction Center has placed much of northern and western Connecticut in a marginal risk area for severe storms. But again, they're going to be very isolated and most of us will not get one. So tonight's not going to be as cool as recent nights when we had some 40s. Instead, it's going to be in the 50s to near 60 in some spots overnight and highs tomorrow inland 85 to 90. 70s at the beaches, so it's going to be a pretty warm day. I would not be surprised if we hit 90 in some places during the day tomorrow. If we don't do it tomorrow, there's a good chance we'll do it on Sunday. There it is, 90 for the first time this uh, season. All right, 90 on Sunday, then turning much cooler on Monday. Highs only in the low and middle 70s, and we could dip to 48 Monday night. Tuesday, partly sunny and breezy, highs in the 70s, then right back up to near 90 on Wednesday with the chance for a thunderstorm that will cool down Thursday and Friday. 80 Thursday, low 70s on Friday, and for the shoreline, a pretty nice weekend. 79 tomorrow. But even the shoreline will be hot Sunday with a high of 89.